What's up, guys? It's Sunday Backyard Farmer. So, I have a... Can I call it a special video? I have a special video today. Well, right now, I'm catching up on the Woot Woot Show. I'm behind. I even had it on the big TV. But, yeah. So, let's go out here real quick. So, we have some damage from some rabbits. So I gotta take care of that. Oh, I gotta get some stuff out the garage too. So, we're missing a whole plant from right here. So I have to replace that. I got some plants over here that's not doing too well. I'm gonna replace those. And most importantly, this video is for my girl, Shelly. So me and Shelly talked this weekend. She rep in Baltimore. We talked this weekend and she was saying, trying to figure out what she could do on her back porch on her patio or deck in Baltimore. And we just started to talk about lettuce. So I was telling her about like the lettuce I have growing on and I have to actually, um, put some on the back porch, which I'll be drilling out. And that's mainly what this video about. They coming with their dad to get some dirt. So you get some dirt. Nick here, say get some dirt. Get some dirt. <laughs> some dirt. So as you can see, most of this is going to seed. I still got some good ones in here, but a lot of it's going to seed. So I need to take care of that. Won't be doing it in this video. Be changing these out, putting them in a different pot. So I'm actually sit those along the rail on the back porch. So that's that's what I wanted to show my girl Shelly how to do that. So we're gonna get into that. All right, first thing we're gonna do, I'm actually blow off this area where I'm gonna be working in. And of course I'm gonna have to do it again once I'm finished. So this the area. These are the containers I'm gonna be using. Drilling holes in. First, I'm gonna clean this area off. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how I drill my hole. So this is basically where they're gonna be sitting at. So you don't wanna drill on these. They actually usually have, if you can see, like an area like this. If you see them with the circle, I usually like to drill those out. Utilize that. This is actually a small bit, so I'm gonna drill more holes than what I usually drill. So you can see the drain holes. And then one thing I do that most people don't do, I like to add holes up here. So just imagine this is this the same concept as if your bathroom sink. You know, if your bathroom sink fill up to a certain extent, there's usually a drain hole at the top to keep it from overflowing. So that's usually what I like to do with my containers because if it overflow, you guys know it takes the dirt with it. So I like to prevent that. So if it doesn't drain quick enough from the bottom, if it's raining kind of hard, then it can actually flow out the top without losing a lot of dirt. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. So in the course, repeat on the other one, but y'all saw this one, so I'm not gonna show you the other one. And I usually don't do this to show this for the most part, it's nothing serious, but since I'm doing this video with my girl Shelly in mind, I want to show her the type of dirt 
that I use. And I'm not saying that you have to use this dirt, but you know, when you're trying to explain stuff to somebody, most of the time it's, it's real good visual to help out, you know, you're trying to explain stuff to people. So this is the dirt I use. This is Jungle Grow. I like it, I think it does pretty well, but you see that's not all I use. I have some stuff that was on sale, so I grabbed that, but I normally, when I'm doing container stuff, I normally use Jungle Grow. Let's come out here real quick. And I added some Black Cow. So this is Black Cow Cow Manure. Most of you guys are familiar with that. So this one I'm using, Shelly. So now that I got all my holes drilled in both containers, sit this down. So this is the dirt that I just showed y'all. This is the black cow and the jungle grow. I got some more in here. I just brought it up here so I can work with it. All right, so bring y'all guys down a little closer. So I'm just using this five gallon bucket just to mix my dirt. And like I said, I utilize it to transport the dirt up here to the back deck. Just mixing that up a little bit. Add it to the container. It's actually taking more dirt than I expected. All right, so move this out y'all way. This is the dirt. Some dirt. This is some lettuce that I bought, some starts. The red leafy lettuce. I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna see how many I can get in here. It's supposed to be sits in here, but these been sitting for a while. I'm supposed to have been got out here, but you guys know the story. Things get busy. And that's something I'm working on. So pull these out the pods. I like to squeeze the bottom and hold them like upside down and let them pour out. making a mess, but I'm just trying to show you. You know, we massage the roots to kind of wake it up, let it know that it has a new home with more space for the roots to grow. Bring this down some more. Make a little hole, place it in, and it's that simple. So as far as I know, guys, lettuce doesn't need to be spaced all the way out. Like you can kind of pack lettuce in. So once again, same thing. And I'm just showing y'all how to do this one. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna do the other one, uh, how I'm gonna set the other one up, which I should have did this one like, but I could do that later on. Once again, squeeze. I'm gonna try to get all six of these in here, guys. This, this should be pretty, just enough space. And then, you know, of course, with all the stuff going on with the recalls on the salads, this is one of the easiest things to start off with. You know, like if it was in the, let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. Maybe. So you know, if it was in the summertime, most people say the easiest thing for your first time growing, they tell you to try tomatoes. But I feel like lettuce is just the same as far as one of the easiest things for your first time growing to get started. And I can fill this in with some more dirt as needed. And then, you know, as this is growing, you usually cut from the bottom leaf so you can continue, the plant can continue to grow and continue to give you, you know, leaves, leaves of salad. And as you're doing that as well, you know, it may be too, don't quote me on this, it may be too, a little too cool for it now, but as you're doing this as well, you can also start dropping seeds in between them as well. You can start dropping some lettuce seeds in between here, in between the plants as these get to the point where they're not producing no more, you got more coming up. So it's just a continuation of growth. Then it encourage you to eat healthier because of course, who like things going to waste? 
So this one is finished, guys. Right here. All right, guys, so for my OG subscribers, I just wanted to say that. I haven't been doing this that long. Um, Y'all remember I had a container sitting up here and the wind blew it down. So for this one, that's what I was showing y'all. That's gonna be different from this one right here. Cause I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make sure I both secure this down to the railing. Now this is just something I recommend. Cause you don't wanna see your stuff. You don't wanna see your stuff all the way down there. So I'm gonna just put two fasteners, one right there, one right here and drill that down. Let me see if I can show you guys this. So everybody know I'm a fan of Milwaukee. It's the smaller set I keep at home and I keep the big set at the shop. Like that. You know this easy plastic wood screws. Press it in with my hand. You see that? Just to get it to stand up. Just because I'm doing this with one hand. Like right, so. And like I said, I'm only securing this. The wind won't blow this down. So I'm only securing this because I had a different experience with all of my stuff ended up down here on the deck, like I said in an older video. So my plan is to line this railing with lettuce. I'm actually get rid of this cage. Finally, no more strawberries. So not worried about squirrels. So for the season, I'm gonna get rid of this cage and I'm gonna repurpose this area. I can actually leave these hanging baskets. And oh, that is crazy. All right, guys, this year, let me talk to y'all this way. Just looking, this is the first, I only been doing this. I only started, you know, in 2020, but my strawberries didn't do any runners. That's weird. They didn't do any runners like they did last season. So I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, let me stay focused. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do the, um, utilize the buckets to get the dirt up there. And we're gonna repeat the same thing. I think we got a different variety of lettuce too that's going up there. So hopefully you guys can see me. I'm actually kind of worried because there's a lot of sunlight that hits right here. And you know, Georgia weather, lettuce is a cool, cool season crop. So you don't want it to get burnt up. Of course, if it's in a heavy sunlight place, it'll get, it'll bolt so, and go to seed. So we don't want that at all. So I'll be watching this area and see how it do. And we can go from there, pick up some more. I cut off of this probably about four times. These are the buckets that I got off the side of the highway that they was throwing away. But I cut off of this probably about four times and it just keep coming back. So I got these and these buckets. I'm gonna find somewhere to put these. I'll probably just set them up a little higher and I'll um, go from there. So let's get the lettuce that is going in here. So we got the butter crunch lettuce. So we're gonna get all of this in this one right here. So we just getting different variety guys. Um, have different variety type of salads. So it's nothing wrong with that. It's nice to have options. So it's the same thing. And you gotta be careful because this stuff will break easy. You can ruin a start very easy by being impatient. So some of the leaves will break. Don't worry about it because like I said, these will grow back. Almost got one there. So you see, there's two in here, but I'm not gonna separate these. Um, usually, you get some with two, you can separate it and double the fine, right? All right, guys, that's as simple as that. It is simple as that. So you can see these need to be watered in get some some of these are damaged that won't bounce back so just go through there you know there's some old stuff on here I'm not gonna do it sorry I'm not looking at the camera 
I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to mess it up with doing it with one hand. But, you know, all your damaged leaves, stuff that look like it's not going to make it, get it off of there. Because the plant will be wasting energy trying to bring those back when it's a lost cause. And that is that. So I will update y'all on this. I'm going to water this in. I, I may even put some on. Um, get some 511 in there, shawty. 511. So, and you guys saw this. Order this in. So that's mainly, not trying to make this a, let me see. No, nope, wrong way. So that's mainly it on the lettuce. You know, like I said, this doesn't take up a lot of space, as you guys can see, even though people may consider my um, back deck, you know, on the bigger side. But if you just pay attention, this is just on the railings. Just imagine, you know, that much on your railings. Um, or, you know, it could be sitting on the ground, however you, however you can secure it or however, whatever works for your situation. But yeah, I suggest you guys get out there, grow some lettuce. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, you can usually find them at starts. And I say, if you get the starts, make sure you actually get some seeds as well. So once some starts get burnt out or go to seed or whatever, you already got something coming up right behind it to actually replace those starts. So I suggest you guys do that. Um, Shelly, I just want to do this video for you to show you that and how simple it is. And yeah, hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully it helped you out. And when you do do it, please send me some pictures, even if you want to do a short video, but I know you, you probably just send me some pictures. And um, I want to share it with the community so they can see what you actually did, you know, and that'll be great. So be encouraged, guys. Grow your own food. I don't care what kind of um, spacing you got. You know, the sweet spot, do it off of her uh, back porch in the apartment. Donnie does it. I mean, it's something out there for everybody. So um, be encouraged. Start somewhere. But if you don't start somewhere, then you won't do anything. So other than that, guys, be safe and make sure you get us some dirt.